I was honestly feeling so lucky last night with all the villagers that we came across. I didn't run into too many of the ones I saw in my last search, which makes me think that all the new lucky items that I put in actually do help in your overall luck. I'm now kind of realizing that we came into the game late at night and I should actually be going to 10 a.m. I wonder what's taking up the most space. Is it clothes? It might be the clothes. Yeah, it's probably the clothes. Oh, I totally forgot about the villager that's in the campsite. Oh, it's, um, Diva. Oh, I wonder if anyone's looking for her. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I got Diva to pick Zucker to put him in boxes. And what this is going to do is let me get some Nook Mile tickets for Zucker. And then I'll be able to then very easily move out Maple because she will no longer be my newest villager. And then I can get my new villager and then I can move out Diva. And then the cycle continues. The bad path, I saw it. And the path was a circle. Round and round. I'm starting to notice that the best way to rotate through villagers is having at least two that you don't mind moving out. Once it gets to you just having one villager left that you need, I can imagine that's going to be a little bit more annoying. I don't really mind giving up Zucker because there's only three octopuses and you're going to have to run into those species eventually. So you have a one in three chance of finding Zucker. And he's typically always on the message boards being traded off anyway. So I can always find him later as well. It was just a heartfelt reunion yesterday. Now I gotta say goodbye again. Two hours later. After what felt like, I think not even felt like, I think it was actually about two hours it took me to move Molly specifically in boxes. And that was so difficult because usually that's how long it would take if I was trying to get the newest villager in boxes. But managed to do it, going to open up the dodo code so that we can have the person come and pick her up. It's nice that we put our house towards the front of the airport because if it was in the back, I can't imagine how long it would take me each time to do this. Can anyone find where Marshall is? He's right here. <laughs> He's so tiny. Okay. Look at Maple and her little tuft of hair. Great memories. Oh. I don't even think I like Raymond that much. I just like the challenge of getting Raymond and what it represents. That's a colorful alligator. You know what would be ideal if we ran into a cat, like at all, because I think in the last videos, I haven't run into any cats. That's an emo looking anteater. Oh, it's the abominable snowman, Hans, <laughs> he has such a soft voice. <laughs> Amelia. Like the lady who got lost over the Atlantic? Was it the Atlantic or the Pacific? It's a... Oh, I thought it was a bunny. It's a frog. Oh, is this a surgeon frog? That is... Well, I don't remember her name, but I know I don't want her at our island, so... This looks like a Pikachu. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. 
Sully? Not today, Rodeo. Oh, no. oh my god, it's a cat. It's Kabuki. Well, I know you're rare. Or sought after, or however you want to define it, but yeah, let's, let's go, Kabuki. So I have to find D.Va and put her in boxes. And hope I have better luck the next day. Wow, fancy. Oh, she doesn't have it. What? Diva, why you don't want to leave? I don't think anyone has the bubble. Oh, awesome. Managed to get her. I don't think anyone wants Diva, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put her in the void. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. I'm now just going to start a montage sequence until either I find Raymond or something really interesting happens. Oh, my God. 